Hey guys, Joe Hildreth here from MyHeap.com. All right, so uh, in the first um, video of the series, I said, you know, I kind of gave uh, an idea of all the uh, equipment and stuff that you need to do some binding. In the uh, last video, I showed you how to make some book cloth. Okay, so in this uh, video, we're going to, um, we're going to uh, perfect bind our first book. Now, remember, we're working from the easiest uh, to more complex, right? Because there's no sense in getting this more convoluted than uh, it needs to be. So today's uh, sample is going to be a uh, uh, some documentation uh, from the evidence system. As the uh, uh, this is the uh, software we use at the hospital, and this is the system management's user guide. This doesn't need to be anything fancy, right? So what I have here is a piece of cardstock to go in the front and a piece of cardstock to go in the back, right? Now I could, I guess, run this through a printer or whatever, but probably what I'll do is like on theirs, you know, they just cut a little window out right here so that it shows that on, or shows uh, this here on the front. And I'll probably do the same thing, but they are uh, perfect bound and uh, have a little cloth backing here. So that's uh, what we're gonna emulate here, okay? So in order to do this, we're gonna have to have a couple of boards, right? Uh, I call these knocking up boards is what I call them. Um, but if you have like some thick cardboard uh, would be fine. These happen to be uh, the backs off of some, uh, uh, you know, binder boards. You know what I'm talking about, uh, uh, clipboards, okay? And uh, I just took the uh, clips off of them, the spring clips, and I'm gonna repurpose them in the shop on the wall somewhere, okay? And then, um, so I'm just going to um, look at my book, okay? And so, you know, I see that this is the spine, right? This is the inside of the book. The book should open up like this, okay? And this is the top of the book. So that's the things that I want to keep in mind, okay? The spine and the head, okay? And I'm just going to put them between these two boards. I call these knocking up boards, right? Because that's that's all I'm going to do is knock these pages up to get them square along the spine and the head, okay? So what I'll need to do to work on those is I'll need to uh, I'll need to clamp these in into something, right? Traditionally, it's uh, called a nipping press. Okay, I don't have a nipping press, and and it's not really doesn't really matter that much, right? What I have are two pieces of uh, three quarter inch ply. Um, I think that'd be 19 or, or whatever mil or what I don't know what three quarter is in uh, metric. And I've just drilled four holes in it. Okay and I kept one side flush, right? It doesn't even have to be perfect for what we're doing because we just want to clamp it down. The space between the bolts obviously got to be bigger than the book that you're binding, okay? Um, I think Chris from, um, um, Chris Anderson said that he's got some sort of a vice, a wood vice or something that, that would work real well for that, so. And then all I've done was I've uh, found some bolts that, you know, I can clamp these together so that there's just enough of the head sticking up. So let's uh, let me get that in place. The bolts. I'm just going to lift that off. Okay. So I have the bottom board here with my bolts in place. Make sure I don't have anything in between there. Okay. Again, I'm going to knock this up. Right to the tail, to the head. I'm sorry, to the spine and to the head. Right. And then I'm just going to lay this on this board. So this is protruding, oh, maybe quarter inch, eighth inch, quarter inch. It doesn't need to protrude much. And I'm just going to lay this other board down on here. Okay. Adjust that a little bit. Okay. And then I've just got some fender washers and some wing nuts, those work for me. Uh, probably something then having to worry about the different size bolts would be just to use some pieces of uh, uh, all thread. All right, so let's get these on here. Okay, now I'm just gonna tighten these down so that it's 
pinching this book real good. You know, it might be a case here where you want to get uh, a wrench or something to hold the bolt. But like I said, we're just interested in nipping this down. Okay, so we have the book in here. We, we know this is the spine and we have the head over here. Now what we want to be able to do is we want to saw some kerfs, right? So I have a little junior saw here, right? And I got, remember I told you you want some uh, heavy crochet thread, right? And so what I like to do is, you know, I'm just, uh, I'm going to find the middle of the book roughly and, and mark it and then about every inch or so. So I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven marks along this uh, eight and a half by 11 sheet. So this is 11 inches. I left about three quarters of an inch on each side. So they're just roughly evenly spaced. You don't have to be uh, pedantic about it. Okay, uh, just going to mark it. Here I still have the saw curves from the last one I'd done. So this works out pretty good for me. So now we're just going to take, uh, we're just going to take the hacksaw, right? And we're going to cut some curves in the back of the book right and the curve only needs to be you know uh, maybe an eighth inch deep whatever something like that and what we're looking for is you know something to get our string in just like that see how that string maybe you can see poked right into that saw cut so that's what we're doing so we're going to go along here and and cut all of these Okay, so I have all those curves cut in there and, um, you know, for the string so that we can glue the string into it. But now something else I want to mention is that the whole reason we cut these curves and put these strings in here is uh, it gives more for the page to adhere or bind to uh, when we go to glue it, right? So the, the stronger that it makes the binding. But now here you see we have these smooth areas of pages here. Well, we're actually going to take a knife, okay, and we're going to rough these up. So I'm just going to cut diagonal cuts. And the idea here is that I'm trying to make um, uh, uh, something more for the glue to bite into, right? Uh, more, more keying for the glue. Because the better we can get the glue to adhere to these pages, the longer the binding is going to last. Even though this is an inexpensive, simple binding. Okay, so I went one way. I'm just going to come back over here and come the other way. And again, like I said, we don't have to be pedantic about it. We just want to. We're just looking to rough this edge up for the glue. Okay. All right, so now we're ready to do a little gluing here. I've got my string ready, and I got a little, uh, this is an olive uh, oil bowl that my wife uh, doesn't know that I borrowed, so don't tattle on me if you can help it. Okay, so again, glue. We're just using PVA glue. This is some Elmer's multi-purpose school glue, right? Just regular old PVA glue. You can buy PVA glue that is acid-free. And that's something I just kind of want to reiterate. If you're making a, a book that you really want to last a long time, right? You want it to sort of be a gift or something or, or whatever. Uh, make sure that you're using acid-free paper and acid-free glue, right? It just will make it last much longer that way. All right, so I'm just going to squirt some of this glue in this bowl right here. To make it easy to work with. Now I got a brush here, okay, and I'm just going to brush this into the, and I'm not worried about getting it on my boards. I'm really mostly want to get it soaked into that paper real good, okay. Patty pointed out that uh, there's a, a place that you can go that uh, has books and they do some reprinting and stuff like that and uh, I forget what it is off the top of my head. Um, 
Patty, if you're watching, go ahead and post it down in the comments, that place you can go. Otherwise, I'll go back and look at uh, one of the other comments from, from where Patty had it and put it in there. Okay, and like I said, you don't have to work this real fast because, you know, PVA doesn't really dry super fast. It really depends on the humidity. But here you see that I'm trying to get it really pushed into the pages there where I've made those little score marks. Okay. So with the glue on there, now we're going to take this, the thread, okay, and I'm just going to push it into my cuts just like this okay are you gonna help me there onyx and kitty's gonna help all right so you see that I'm just staggering this in here in these cuts so I have thread in all of them, just like that. Snip off the extra. Okay. And then I'm just going to come back with my glue again and just touch these again. Again, I'm not worried about getting them on my little boards here. These boards will be cut off. really kind of trying to push it uh, the glue in there with my string that's really what I'm shooting for right there okay and then lastly we're going to uh, take a piece of maul and remember maul is a uh, it's just a thin um, cloth you can use gauze you can use any really thin lightweight cloth here and this is just going to be uh, we're going to glue this on here uh, as a backing, right? And I've cut this uh, just a little bit short of the book, uh, you know, length, length uh, as, as the book is, you know, it's, it comes up a little short from each end. And I'm just going to take my little folder here, right? Remember these uh, bone folder. And I'm really just going to work this mull right into that glue like that all right all right so now with that worked in there I'm just gonna work a little bit more glue onto the spine on the mall I just want to make sure that it's thoroughly coated uh, all the way through all them little pores filled up with glue and like I said there's there's nothing um, real fancy you gotta have for this I mean if we're just doing this for the shop we're really only interested in uh, you know the book lasting our handling and and most of the time you know like most books probably gonna be up on a shelf and you're just gonna reference it once in a while so it's like that Okay, now I'm just going to rub this down with my finger a little bit. Alright, so at this point um, we're just going to let this dry and we'll come back uh, into it in, in a half hour or so when this is dry and uh, we'll continue, we'll finish up with the binding. So I'll catch you here in just a minute. Okay, now that once this is dry we can take it out of our nipping press. Maybe. Okay, so we're gonna take this out of the nipping press and then we're just gonna cut these boards off, right? So hopefully I got this in frame. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lift this up, making sure that I got my cover sheet Oh, you know what? I didn't get my cover sheet on there, but that's okay. I'm 
just going to push the knife through. until it pokes through and I'm just going to twist up and sort of cut along this board just like that and then I'm just going to lift this up slightly and do the same thing all right so there's the one board We'll do the same thing with this one. All right. So you might be asking yourself, well, you know, I, uh, tell you what, I'm just going to push this stuff over with our folder, right? This doesn't have to be perfect here. Okay. All right, so the text block, we have the, basically the text block is done with the cover in place, right? As we see here, I guess that's in there. Okay, and if your paper cover lifts off a little bit like this, don't worry about it, because we're actually gonna come back in and tip those on. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the cover and fold it back like that. You'll see where I've cut some paper and stuff. Again, this doesn't really matter too much for what we're doing here. Um, now when we put a hard bound cover on it, and we'll do this a little bit different, but basically all I'm going to do here is I'm going to take some glue and I'm just going to tip, you know, I'm going to cover about the last quarter inch of my paper here, right? My cardstock cover. And I'm just going to tip this on. Okay. Just like that. And then I'm going to take my folder and work that down. So again, this type of binding right here this is, uh, you know, this is the simplest binding, and I've been kind of in a hurry on it, trying to get the video done, so that's some of it. You should uh, take your time and let things thoroughly dry. So I'm going to turn this over now. I'm going to open this cover up. Just like this. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to tip some glue right here on the last quarter inch or so of the cover so it's gluing to this page hopefully that's picking up All right. again I'm just gonna lay that back over and work that in with the bone folder just like that alright so now you might be asking yourself well you know this didn't cut real even or whatever it doesn't really matter just take your bone folder and push it over the top right because this is going to get a piece of cloth right just push it over the top on both sides just like that Alright, so now 
what we need to do is we're going to cut a piece of cloth and what I, I like to measure it and add about an inch to it right so for a half inch of overlap so as I measure that that's uh, about three-eighths of an inch thick okay or if I measure it it's uh, about 10 about 10 uh, millimeters so um, so I'll cut it uh, 10 millimeters plus, you know, 12 millimeters on either side, give or take, right? So, uh, so that's uh, 24, 34 millimeters. I'm going to cut a strip 34 millimeters wide, or uh, I'm going to cut uh, or inch and three eighths. Okay. So let me just set this aside. my book cloth remember this all right so I'm going to cut a straight edge hopefully that's in frame all right so I'm just going to trim off a nice straight edge here. Just like that. And I'll come over an inch and three eighths. A little mark there. Do the same thing down at this end. All right, cut this off. It's going to be our backing now. This is going to be a little long, but that'd be okay. Alright, so I've cut a piece of my book cloth off. I'm going to make my backing. Okay, like so. You notice that it's a little bit longer than the book. That's okay. What I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to paint another layer of glue on the back of the book on the binding Okay. So now I'm just going to take my book cloth here and I'm just going to just going to crease it right in the middle on both ends just for a little bit, right? So I can see that there. I'm going to come down here and do the same thing. Cuz like I said, this doesn't have to be perfect. Remember, this is uh this is the crudest form of binding that really we can do. All right, so now I'm just going to put that on the back and put my crease that I just made right in the middle of the book. Okay? Just like so. Alright. Now I'm going to rub that down really good. Get that stuck down.
you notice that I'm sort of rolling it over the edge and that's just to sort of give me a mark okay so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to set this down and I'm just going to trim this off even with the top and the bottom of the book Okay, do the same thing down here. You can just eyeball this if you want. That's all I do. Hopefully, I ain't got my big head in your way. Now I'm going to take uh, my brush and my glue, and I'm just going to paint my book cloth here with some glue. Try not to get too crazy with it. this back down here and I'm going to take my hand I'm just going to push that over just like that I'm not rubbing I'm just pushing okay and then take your bone folder and roll it over and rub it down Now the reason why we put the paper on the cloth is so we just painted that with glue and it prevents that glue from seeping through the cloth. All right. Now we're going to do the same thing to the other side. I'm going to paint that. Again, we're just going to take the hand and push that over. It will bite. All right, and then the bone folder and work it down. Okay, so now I'm just going to slide this back in our, in our nipping press. Alright, let's get these back on and I just want to get a good squeeze on the cloth that we just put on there. So I need to do one end. I mean, you can squeeze it all if you want, but... Okay, so I'm going to leave that clamped in there for just a minute, and then uh, I'll take it out and we'll take a look at it. So I'll catch you here in just a minute. Okay, that's been clamped in there for a minute or so. Like I said, just enough to get a bite on it, and so let's see what we got. So there's the book, right? It uh, needs a little bit more time to dry, so I'm going to be a little ginger with it. But you see that works out pretty good. It's got a nice 
cloth uh, binding here to kind of help hold everything together. Now, um, I'll, I'll trim this cloth up here a little bit when it's, when it's done completely dry. Now, I could have ran this piece of cardstock through the printer, put a title in there or something, and, and that's probably what I would do. But then again, these, these uh, little books um, that uh, I have for work, uh, like I said, these get used once in a while when you have to look up something specific and it's good enough and what I'll do is you'll see that they have the name over here system management guide on all the books that if you buy their books they just have a whole cutout right here in that and you see it right there and then they've uh, put this piece of uh, cardstock in an embosser and embossed their uh, logo on it so really and that and I think they use gray so that might be something that I would recommend is uh, if you're gonna get some cardstock I only had some white cardstock laying around uh, get gray or something like that and then again, but like I said, these, um, uh, when I bind a book like this, I'm, I'm not really looking to, you know, this is, this is something that's just temporary. I might throw it away. It might never get used. If I want a little bit more permanent uh, binding, I'll do a perfect bind like this here, but we'll actually case it in and put a cover on it. So it works just a little bit different. So uh, really, that's, that's that for this. You know, this, is, uh, this, is, this does make a good binding you know um, you have to be careful how you cut it off uh, cut your boards off you know that you're using the glue down to uh, but even if you do cut it a little bit it doesn't matter just just put some glue on it put a little glue on the inside of your cardstock to glue it to the first paper and glue your cloth down and it's going to do just fine so uh, hey look I want to call this one here I realized that I sort of rushed through that uh, I'm trying to keep these uh, short and to the point um, but if you have questions uh, uh, please email me or post down in the comments below. If you find these um, videos uh, helpful or useful in any way, uh, please consider a like or uh, uh, subscribe or share. You know, uh, su subscribers are always welcome. Uh, other than that, have a blessed day.